What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon news update video. In today's video we're going to be talking about Shiny Meltan making a return into Pokemon Go and how can you move your Shiny Meltan into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Let's get right into it. Now this news is making our way to us via the Pokemon.com website. I'm going to have a link to this news article in the description below so you guys can check it out. But it basically says that Meltan shines again in Pokemon Go, encounter more Meltan in Pokemon Go, and until May 5th, maybe even Shiny Meltan. Starting Wednesday, April 24th, it will be easier to get your hands on the mythical Pokemon Meltan in Pokemon Go. The waiting period to open the mystery box will be shortened to three days. I'm going to jump in and intersect here. If you don't know what the mystery box is, the mystery box is an item that you get from Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee that after you trade a Pokemon between Pokemon Go and Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, it sends that mystery box to your Pokemon Go as a present for doing so. While you have that mystery box, you can use it in Go and it will allow Meltan to spawn in your Pokemon Go game for about 30 minutes. This creates a lore around your character and again, Meltan will spawn in game for about 30 minutes. Kind of in the same level as a lore will spawn regular Pokemon, but they do happen a bit faster than a regular lore would though. Now the mystery box does take seven days to open, which is unfortunate if you're trying to you know, maximize how much Meltan that you can get out. It's kind of like a soft cap that they put so people won't just get, you know, Mel Metal day one. But they're shortening the days from seven to three. Now, do take note that this event starts on April 24th. So, what you do want to do, and I please, if you're listening to this video, if you haven't sent over Pokemon to your Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee to obtain the mystery box yet, do not do it. Wait until the event starts because if if you don't, then you probably will have to wait the full seven days in order to open up a mystery box, and that's gonna suck because that's what happened last time. A lot of people who had opened their mystery box literally the day before the event started, they had to wait till the whole seven days period was over in order to catch themselves a Meltan, and that is due to the fact that the mystery box counter does not reset after it's open. So once you open the box and your counter jumps all the way back up to seven, even during this event, it will not bring it back down to three. So do take caution when opening up your box until this event starts. Now jumping back into the article, it says, plus beginning at the same time, shiny versions of Meltan will appear once again in Pokemon Go. And this is how you're gonna be able to bring your shiny Meltan into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Obviously, the same thing with Mel Metal when you evolve your shiny Meltan into Mel Metal. Now, what you need to do is again open as much mystery boxes as you can during this event, as you can be able to encounter as much Meltan as you can during this event, and eventually, hopefully, fingers crossed, get yourself on a Mel Metal. As you guys know, how shiny Pokemon work inside of Pokemon Go, you don't see them out in the overworld, they pop up in your game, you touch them, and then once you get that catch sequence started, you can see the shiny version of the Pokemon Meltan's shiny version. It's a bit darker orange on the ring itself. And I believe the tail on the back is a different color. I could be wrong on that. Let me know in the comment section below. But it doesn't have the regular gold nut. It is a different color of the nut. And that's pretty much it. But still, it is a shiny, which is cool, as well as it's a shiny mythical Pokemon that is exclusive to either Pokemon Go or Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And again, the only way to get them inside of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee is to trade from Pokemon Go. Now, do note, if you obtain a shiny Meltan, you'll be able to evolve it into shiny Melmetal after you gather 400 pieces of Meltan candy. Yes, you heard me right, 400 pieces of Meltan candy. So, plan ahead. Make sure every Meltan you catch, shiny or not, well, probably not the shiny one, you don't want to risk it running away, but every Meltan you encounter, pine that berry it just to make sure you get the maximum amount of candies. And within, I believe, like four boxes, you should be able to have 400 candies. If I'm doing the math right, if I'm not, let me know in the comment section below. But I believe when Meltan first came out and during Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee release, it took everybody like a 
probably a little less than a month in order to get themselves shiny melting candy. And of course, obviously, you could burn through rare candies. You could buy, I don't think you could buy rare candy straight up, but you can use the rare candies that you obtain in the game to, again, use this candies on Meltan, but you do get a ton of Meltan to catch. So I would, wouldn't recommend doing so unless you are, you know, not able to, again, attain a Nintendo Switch or whatever the case may be that you're jumping through a loophole in order to get these Meltan. Also do note, there is a way to get a Meltan without the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games, but you actually have to do the whole story mode of the Meltan quest inside of Pokemon Go. And then with that, you only get one in five candies for it. So you don't get nearly enough <laughs> for the 400 candies to evolve Meltan into Melmetal. And again, if you want to catch more, you would still need a Nintendo Switch with a copy of Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Now, do note that you can use multiple Pokemon Go accounts on any Nintendo Switch that has Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee installed, or the game for that matter, and you can trade a limited amount of time. So there's no lock of your friend has a copy of the game or you have a copy of the game and your friend wants to grab Meltan, he can do so as well. It doesn't limit you from only using one Pokemon Go account. Now, in order, again, to send Pokemon from Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, what you need to do is on your Pokemon Go screen, you hit the Pokeball, bring up the options menu, then bring up the Pokemon menu, and then on the Pokemon menu, you're going to see the Nintendo Switch button. Click the Nintendo Switch button. Now, do know if you don't see the Nintendo Switch button, what you need to do is go into your settings menu, jump out, go into your settings menu. In your settings menu, all the way in the bottom, you're going to see an option that says Nintendo Switch. Turn on your Bluetooth. And in order to, to sync your phone to the Nintendo Switch. Now on the Nintendo Switch, what you need to do is make sure you are in the Safari Zone, the Go Park area inside of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. I think to sync the phone and the Nintendo Switch together, what you need to do is just jump into your options menu while Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee is loaded up. And then there's going to be a option to sync to Pokemon Go. You do that, it should be able to find the game pretty easily and then sync them up together. Do note that you would need the latest version of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, so do make sure your game is up to date in order to do so. Vice versa, Pokemon Go, make sure your game is up to date. And then from there, you can send over Pokemon from Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go... You could send over Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Again, by just going into the Pokemon menu, tapping that Nintendo Switch button. What it does, it limits only the Pokemon that are catchable inside of Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, including Meltan and Melmetal. And of course, Shiny Meltan and Melmetal, if you actually caught them inside of Pokemon Go, you can bring them with ease just by a couple of clicks of the button. Do note that you cannot evolve Meltan inside of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. So if you have one that you want to evolve into Melmetal, you have to do so inside of Pokemon Go first and then transform them over to Pokemon Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. Now, again, my strategy is to have at least one shiny Mel Metal, one shiny Meltan in both of the games. I want one and I want to set and go. I want to set and let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send two over that are shiny to the let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee games. I'll probably show that in this video. But then also, what I recommend you guys doing if you want to kind of future proof yourself, catch as much shiny Meltan obviously as possible. In the future, who knows? We'll probably be able to send Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hopefully that is the case because if we are able to, then we can send ourselves a shiny Meltan, shiny Melmetal into Pokemon Sword and Shield. Woo, that sounds sexy. I might use that as a title for the video. Clickbait, anybody? No, probably not. But either way, that is huge news, guys. If you want to get your hands on a shiny mythical Pokemon, Meltan, Melmetal, this is the way to do so. Now, this event is the second time they're repeating this event. Fingers crossed that they do repeat this, like, you know, seasonally, that every season that we will see this event. I do think they're doing this event again because due to the fact of the hype of all the Pokemon Go events that are going on right now, with their Go Safari events and the Pokemon Go Fest that they're having in Chicago that they do every year. I think this is just to kind of tie into the hype of that rather than this being a seasonal event. But again, I could be wrong. I've been wrong with a lot of other stuff. But again, I could be wrong as far as this not being a repeated event. Hopefully it is. Hopefully we do see this event again in the future, probably in the fall and again in the winter time. But again, 
please, 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 please make sure you do take advantage of this event, especially if you are a Pokemon Go player, a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee player, because who knows when it'll be the next time that we'll be able to get a shiny Meltan. You guys know that they do not re-release a lot of the shiny mythical Pokemon inside of the whole Pokemon universe. Hell, they barely releases the regular versions of them. So if you do want to get your hands on a shiny Meltan, please take advantage of this event that's going on right now. If you have any more questions about how to trade Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, hit me up in the comment section below or about how to get the mystery box or how to get Meltan or whatever the case may be. Hit me up. As you guys know, I answer all comments. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon news update video. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.